Welcome to the 2018 VMI Film, TV, and Visual Media Awards. What you guys all do is simply remarkable. It's such a huge honor to be here. It's a great, great pleasure to come here tonight and be honored for our advocacy. For me, it's like my one day out of the year that I feel like I'm really in the music business. To have people keep hiring me to make music for them and to have people enjoy it and then to be recognized for it, I mean, it doesn't get a whole lot better. You know, it's not often that BMI singles out an individual for a unique honor and then actually names it after them. Yeah, it's great to be here, but mostly it's great to be here to honor John Williams. John Williams is, you know, the most prolific composer in the last century, at least. A guy like him comes along every 50 or 100 years. The worst he's ever been is really good, you know, and then all the rest of the time he's great. His music is sometimes more memorable than the movies. There is almost no one on Earth, anywhere on Earth, who wouldn't recognize John's music. I saw Raiders of the Lost Ark when I was nine, and it, it changed my life. The end of E.T. has made me cry probably a thousand times. I love Jaws. Jaws was incredible. What about the, the, the end title of Star Wars, when it just goes to all that amazingly fast music, Schindler's List for me? A tribute like this is something that, that I could never feel that I would merit. Also, impossible to thank BMI. Its dedication, its service, it has been a protector of music and a catalyst for music for so many years. Music is, in the end, you know, it's a gift to us even in the fetal state and goes with us all through our lives. And it is idealistic, of course, to think that what we do is not about our career, but it's about our service to music. In the sense that we arrive here, music is here, we've been given a tremendous literature that li a lifetime isn't long enough to study and read. So our gratitude needs to go. We all feel it in this room, I know. This kind of celebration tonight marks all of that. With continued service to the thing we all are indebted to, like the gift of speech, the gift of music. Thank you, BMI, for this tribute, which I humbly accept uh, with a little embarrassment, I have to say, but a lot of gratitude. Also tonight, we're proud to recognize Rick Bates with our Classic Contribution Award. What I try to do is just strike a balance between providing a foundation and providing a safe space for students to tap into their own unique musical voices. We're proud to present you all with our BMI Champion Award. We're all grateful to you ladies for leading the charge and striving to even the playing field for all composers. Thank you most heartily for your continuing support for women composers in our quest for equal opportunities to compete for the projects that inspire us. I want to thank all of you who continue to recommend women for jobs and who step aside and let women take those positions. Go get them girls, you're going to be here soon and those who are here, congratulations to you. BMI is uh the gold standard in performing rights. The work that they do on, on our behalf, it you know, helps us be better, more fulfilled, more creative composers. They love songwriters and composers, and uh, so any, any time you, you're honored, it's, it's great. Yeah.